Hi, I'm Lisa from Action Potential Lab. We're a space in Toronto that teaches science and art. And I want to introduce you to my two friends here. <laughs> Hi. So today we're going to be building bottle rockets. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, and this is kind of a silly part, toilet paper. <laughs> Did you expect us to be using toilet paper today? No way. Okay, so what I need you to do is, Mila, can I get you to rip off one piece and then I'll get you Soapy to peel off the next. One, two, awesome. Okay, so ready? Great job. <laughs> okay, the next thing is put them down on the table like a placemat and then I want you to get your measuring spoons and we're gonna use one teaspoon, just like this. And I think you probably have these at home somewhere in the kitchen. So we're gonna use baking soda just like this. But I happen to have my baking soda already in a Tupperware, so we'll just scoop it out of here. Okay, Mila, you go first and then we'll pass it over to Sophie. That's great. Does everyone have the baking soda right in the middle of their toilet paper? Kind of in the middle. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so the next thing, this is a bit complicated and I'm here to help, but we'll try it ourselves. What I want us to do is we're gonna actually kind of fold it together, almost create like a little bag. bag. And then, do you see, here Sophie, do you see how I have it crunched together like that? If you can hold it like that for me, I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna bring some string to tie together. And then Mila, will you hold it like that? Just like that, that's awesome. Okay, and I'm gonna come around and use this string to tie it up. You keep your fingers there. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut off the extra ones because these are a bit long. Okay, Mila, can I get a high five? Yes, these are gonna be really important to propel our rocket up into the air. I'm gonna put them to the side for now. Do you know what the next step is? Nope. It's actually building. So, we're gonna use a water bottle, any old water bottle, and then you're gonna have three popsicle sticks and also awesome duct tape. And also one other thing, this is just a little addition that I like to do. Does anyone know what this is? It's a paper cup. It's a paper cup. Sometimes you get this and you see them in offices or at homes and you have like, you know, a water jug at home that you can pour your water in. Well, this I thought... Is it as a funnel? Well, not exactly as a funnel, but that's a great idea. I thought it would be fun if we used it as the very top of our rocket so it helps it direct go up into the air. I'm gonna get Mila to start first. Mila, will you put this stick just kind of along the water bottle somewhere here. And I need it to be sticking a little bit further than the top of there. And I'm gonna peel a piece of duct tape. And then I won't get your fingers, and I'll put that right there. Good job. We want it to be longer because this is gonna be the stand. Does it look like you can help hold it up? Do you think we need something else though? We need more popsicle sticks. Exactly. Okay, it's your turn, Sophie. Do you wanna find another spot, maybe, maybe right around there where my hand is? and we want to measure it up so it's kind of the same. That looks great. Does that look like it's about the same distance as the purple one? Yeah. Yeah, can I come in there? I think that's really good. And we can always readjust it if we need to. That's looking pretty good. What do you think? And let's do one more. A little bit bigger. A little bit? You know what, I think it'll stand. Let's try with the third one and if we feel like we need to adjust it, we'll just take the tape off. Okay, so. Mila, do you want to help with this? I think you can put this one right there and measure it. Boop, 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 boo. What do you think? Yay, can I get a double high fives going over here? Yeah! And then you two give yourselves a high five. Okay, awesome. And then we want to add this. To me, it looks a little bit plain. Should we decorate this a little bit more? Can I draw on the bottle of face? <laughs> do, 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 do. This looks so good. Okay, do you want to present it? Ta-da! Okay, I have one last step. So do you notice, does this water bottle have a cap to it to close it? No, it doesn't, right? That's because we're going to use this to put those baking soda pouches inside. But we do need something to close it tight, tight. So what we have here is a cork. A cork, right? And now the funny thing is sometimes 
If the cork is too loose, it'll just fall right in and it won't work. So what I like to do is sometimes I'll use a little bit of tape and I'll wrap it around. Do you want to try that, Mila? Wrap it around in the center. Now look at it. See how it's tight? Okay, are you two ready to go launch this? Yeah. All right, let's go outside to launch. So we can't talk about bottle rockets unless we talk about some of the fuel we'll be using. So in today's experiment, we'll be using some vinegar, and you know that we've made our little baking soda pouches. Baking soda is our solid, we have vinegar as our liquid, and when you mix the two together, you get a chemical reaction, and that creates carbon dioxide. And you know that that'll be working when you start to see a fizzing or a bubble reaction happening in the chamber of your rocket water bottle. Okay, so now we're ready to start. Let's put in our vinegar as fuel. Good idea. This in. And you know the drill, right? Okay, try to move fast. Here we go. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh no! Thanks for coming to Action Potential Lab. To check out more videos in this series, go to Today's Parent.